welcome welcome to another video welcome guys to patron zone how are you guys doing today i hope you're having a fantastic day happy civic day to all my canadian friends out there and family hope you are having a wonderful time with friends and family before i go any further into this video please go ahead and hit that thumbs up comment subscribe to patron zone and let me know what you think about this video based on my title guys as you see i'm going to give you some of my canadian experience uh, some of the different ways in which you can come to canada why you should come to canada why you shouldn't come to canada before i even um, tell you anything about coming to canada i know some persons may have some bad experience in Canada some may have some good guys just remember that everybody's situation is different everybody's situation is different so you can't base your situation you can not judge your situation based on somebody else's experience you have to find out for yourself you have to experience it for yourself so do not let anybody tell you oh don't go to canada oh don't go to the u.s because it's so hard but guys just i'm not going to go any further with that but in videos to come i will also tell you how you can extend your stay here in canada as a visitor and as a foreign worker so um as I said before, there are so many ways in which you can immigrate to Canada, guys. I am driving now and it's raining cats and dogs. So I'm taking my time and I have to be. Let me go over here. Yes, yeah, so there are so many ways in which you can immigrate to Canada. Number one, if you are in your own country, whether it be Jamaica, Trinidad, where, whichever country you are in, and you you can you can apply for jobs there from your own country so you can go on the job website yes guys so you can apply you can go to the different job website canada job website in your own country so there are various job websites they have the job bank they are the immigration website that you can go on to apply search for jobs here in Canada and if you do get an offer you can use that to apply for a work permit in Canada another way in is through the study permit so guys if you intend to further your studies you can apply to schools here in Canada and apply for your study permit in order to apply for your study permit you'll have to apply for a college here in Canada first so first you'll have to apply for a college here in Canada then you will have to once the application is been is approved the college accepts you then you will apply for your study permit in order to apply for your study permit you must have the school approval letter you must have the funds available that you are going to use to pay for your school fee and the funds available to take care of yourself while you are here in Canada. Also, with that, um, when you are applying for a study permit, guys, please, or when you are applying to a school, ensure that the school is accredited. So you must be studying in a field where you know you'll get a job. When you come as a student, guys, you are able to work part-time while studying. So you can use that money that you work part-time to help to take care of yourself while you are here studying. And after you have finished studying, guys, you must apply to work in the field that you have studied work in the field that you have studied and in that way after you have worked in the field that you have studied for for one year then you will be able to apply for your 
permanent residency in Canada. So you must work in the field that you have studied for one year and I emphasize that guys because I've, I know persons who have studied in Canada for years and they can't find a job in the field that they're, they have studied and because of that they are not able to apply for their permanent residence. So guys, if you are planning to come to Canada, ensure that you are coming to, if you are planning to come to Canada under the study permit um, program, ensure that you are going to, going to study in a field where you know it will be easy for you to find a job and you will be able to find a job at the end of the program, work for one year and then apply for your permanent resident. So please ensure that you know what you're doing. Okay guys? So another way it is through the express entry system. That one, I do not like it that much, but um, per, I've known persons who have done it and they, are, um, they got through. It may be one of the best way. When you do that, you can always do it from your own country, especially if you're in a good job in your own country. It's, you can use that one. Persons who are in technology and all of that, they need those persons here. So um, you, you will that will help you to get more points. So it's a point system. So if so, based on your qualification, your educational background, your job history, if you are family members here already, your income, your savings, so all of that count. They add up your points and make your make you qualified enough to apply under the express entry guys i do not know a lot about this program but i know a little but i'm not too i don't really like it because persons have to be waiting for a long time before their points can build up and so forth but for some persons it, it comes very easy but yes and the good thing with this program, the only thing I like about the Express Entry program is when you apply for it on, um, from your own country, you will come straight to Canada as a permanent resident, yes. So when you come here, you don't have to apply for any permanent residence. So when you apply for this um, program, you'll come and you, and you are approved, you'll, you will be landed. So you'll be a landed resident. So you'll be permanent resident at Instant. So you are free to apply to any job that you are qualified for. You're free to go to any school that you want to go to study. Yes. So a good thing about applying for the Express Entry Program. That's what I like about the Express Entry Program. All right, guys. One final way that I'm going to mention, guys, is through the caregiver program it's not so prevalent as you as it was back in the days but the caregiver program is another way in which you can apply to immigrate to Canada so if you caregiver slash nursing program so if you are a nurse or a caregiver or you have experience working with kids and you want to become a nanny or a caregiver you can apply under that program for the caregiver for the nanny you'll have to find a job as well get the job offer apply for your work permit and then you take it from there once it's, it's approved guys there are so many things guys i can tell you about coming to canada but just stay tuned for my next video if you are a parent and you're planning to come to canada and you are you um, based on the job that offer that you get and you are not able to take your kids with you i am going to do another video where i'm going to tell you how you can get your kids and your family member here with you in canada okay guys so just stay tuned for that video and just leave a comment and let me know what you think about this video if you have experienced have any experience about coming to Canada let me know if you have any question that you want to ask me 
just leave it in the comments and let me know if you want me to address any other matters about immigrating to Canada just leave it in the comments and let me know guys and guys remember I am not an immigration consultant I am not an immigration lawyer I am I am not affiliated with IRCC in no shape or form I am just telling you this based on my experience based on the research that I have done guys because when I came to Canada before I came to Canada I read I read a lot I do a lot of researching and I garnered these knowledge the knowledge that I have and I am here and I've experienced it and so I've spoken to persons who have had similar experience who have had good experience who have had not so good experience guys experiences guys so that is why I'm able to tell you all of this I have helped persons too I've done applications for myself many application guys I've done for myself so I have a lot of knowledge on this on um, the whole immigration thing, thing to Canada so guys I am not I say I, I'm putting this disclaimer out there I am NOT an immigration consultant I am NOT affiliated with IRCC all of this is based on my experience my personal experience that I have had since I am here in Canada not just since I'm here it's even before I came to Canada as I said to you I do a lot of research I do a lot of reading I ask, ask a lot of questions so just bear that in mind and don't say that Patra said this or I am doing this because Patra said this okay guys I'm just telling you giving you so go and do some further research on the matter and on this discussion do some further research so if you are planning to immigrate to Canada do some research compare the different countries so don't just um, don't follow what other people are saying for persons who have bad experience and they put it out there and they discourage you from immigrating to Canada they discourage you from doing so many things so um, they discourage you from go to other countries everywhere you go you have to work hard when I was in Jamaica, I had to work hard. I came to Canada, I have to do the same. So it's no different anywhere, guys. So if you want good, you know, have to run. And you, you have to give up a lot to achieve more. So I came here, I gave up a lot back home. And yeah, I, I have no regrets. I have no regrets coming here to Canada. And I hope if you do if you should come you'll feel the same way that I'm feeling I know I'm not gonna say it's very easy things do get hard here but if you persevere you will be successful I don't get my reach my goal goal as yet that I plan to achieve here I don't reach it as it I'm still working for, towards it I'm still working for it but I'm not gonna give up I'm not gonna drop my arms and say oh things is too it's too hard here I'm it's uh, I, I can't go anymore but guys let me not bore you with any more of that but go ahead like this video comment share and subscribe to Patra zone and stay tuned for more videos like this where I'll be sharing you with you some of my experiences and my knowledge about the whole immigration process so guys go ahead and comment and thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you soon in my next video